London in February 2019. The setting of the final conference of FRAME, a project which is promoted by the EU within the framework of the research and innovation program Horizon 2020. Its goal has been to develop valid instruments to measure the impact of innovation policy on key variables such as productivity and long-term growth. Political decision makers are handed an instrument to develop effective innovation policy, which promotes research and at the same time ensures that research results find their way into the private sector where they can contribute to economic growth. About 80 researchers from all over Europe came together in Grocers Hall in London's financial district to look back on what has been done and to share their views. The participants, mostly researchers from partner institutions of the Leibniz Center for European Economic Research, the Center for Economic Policy Research in London, Bocconi University in Milan, London Business School, Pompeo Fabra University in Barcelona, and Lund University. Their conclusion, FRAME has been a great success by pushing the boundaries of macroeconomic modeling and stimulating the agenda for further research. We have taken on new innovative lines of research that, for example, some of them have to do with the role of demand, uh, how demand changes when you are richer, to understand the directions of innovation or to understand the polarization in labor markets, or how uh, we should measure TFP growth uh, to take into account the cyclical variation in capacity utilization. The FRAME final conference was hosted by the CEPR, the Center for Economic Policy Research, in London. The CEPR's president sees the cooperation of the various partners as a critical success factor. We are delighted to be one of the project partners uh, in this FRAME project. It's a collaborative effort uh, and it is an excellent example of what CEPR also stands for. It is to combine research excellence with policy relevance. Um, as you know, Europe has done very well in terms of research excellence over the last uh, decades. A lot of excellent places and a lot of excellent research has been produced. But the gap between applying uh, this to relevant policy instruments is sometimes rather large. And FRAME is one of those projects that tries to uh, bridge this gap. The value of FRAME lies in the models, which have been created as part of the two-year project. These include current technological developments, as well as developments in the global economy. We have provided uh, a new class of models to analyze um, economic policy, in particular innovation policies. And those models are richer, and they recognize that the technologies that companies use, it's something that changes over time in response to economic conditions, in response to the choices and the investment decisions of companies. That's a critical mechanism that changes quite significantly uh, the predictions of the models. For example, Tom Schmitz of Bocconi University presented a contemporary model for calculating total factor productivity in Europe. The special feature is that it integrates the various framework conditions in the member states of the EU. We did uh, start by looking at different measures of productivity that were available in the literature. We found some puzzle. We realized that uh, European research was a bit lagging with respect to uh, the US research. And so we, we decided to, 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 to fill this gap and, and, and go ahead with the research project. So that's uh, the reason why the project is there is because of free. There wouldn't be no project without free. At the conference, a critical look was taken at the results, while further aspects were added and elaborated on, for example, by Georg Licht from ZEW, the Leibniz Center for European Economic Research in Mannheim, as seen here. The institute coordinated the activities of FRAME throughout the project. Internationally recognized researchers like Philippe Aguillon followed the discussion and introduced their own aspects. For example, his study shows that the focus of innovation on so-called superstar companies like Amazon, Google and Facebook in the USA is a reason for the weaker economic growth. These newly developed models help to create a holistic view of things. That framework allowed us to analyze the relationship between growth and competition, between growth and firm dynamics, uh, between growth and unemployment, uh, 
uh, I could look at green innovation and, and growth and the environment. And so uh, you can look at a number of important aspects of, uh, of society in relation to growth by taking a very micro-founded approach and very much with a dialogue between modeling and empirics, you see. Frame's scientific advisory board, which is composed of economists from external institutions, evaluated the results of the project and their remote impact during a panel discussion. From the point of view of the European Union, which commissioned Frame, the project goal has been clearly accomplished. We have managed to introduce aspects such as technology diffusion in the model or a better assessment of the skills uh, accumulation, uh, better disentangling of the role of the public and the private sector in the model. And this is all you know, making us better understand the relations between the different macroeconomic aggregates and it's leading to a better picture, let's say overall, that pays due tribute to the role of science and innovation to create growth and well-being in Europe. Researchers of other universities who attended the FRAME final conference take home the insights gained from the event. It is their judgment that validates the results of the project. I just finished a large project called ADEMU uh, for the Horizon 2020. We finished last May and we had done a lot of work which also involved macroeconomics and policies and so on. And I knew about FRAME which has developed a little after that, but I mean, we overlap substantially. And I wanted to also be participant and learn what has been the final outcome, and I'm pleased to be here. Two intense years have passed since the start of FRAME, but the research is not concluded yet. FRAME is not finishing, you know, in a month. FRAME is going to continue because we still have lots of work to do and we are going to continue working on it despite the fact that the, 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 the end date of FRAME is in, in 30 days. All in all, the project has achieved a lot and has given many fresh impulses and ideas. And this provides an excellent basis for further research projects on the impact of innovation policy.